the Quran came in honored Arabic. It honored Arabic. And the Arabs were only honored because they were the people of Quran. So Quran gave the Arabs honor, right? And if you want that honor, then it doesn't, it's not based on race or color of skin or what geographical location you come from. You know what it comes from? Knowledge of the language of revelation. So nothing is lost in translation. Muslims went all over the world and the works of scholarship that are produced were produced in India or in Turkey or in parts of Europe or in Africa were entirely in Arabic up until very recent times. Is Islam gave honor to all nations and said the most noble among you are the ones who are the most pious. And it didn't give superiority even to the Arab over the non-Arab and so thus this according to the words of the messenger himself. The messenger himself, make sure you understand your superiority is not because you're Arab. You're not. No Arab is superior to a non-Arab, no white to a black, no black to a red and all of that. The messenger made it clear in his final address. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the honor, the, uh, if you want to be honored, it is how connected you are to this Qur'an. And even if you don't know Arabic, by the way, you're equal. And he, one last proof of that. If any of a non-Muslim who has been partying their entire life and has done the worst kind of things, and they don't know anything about Arabic, and they become Muslim today, guess who, has, who stands the highest? That person. Why? Because everything they did before, clean slate. None of us have a clean slate. So this person is in a higher position than anybody else. So it's not about language, or the language actually, the only thing that's noble about the language is that it's the language of revelation.